We are back in the ultra convenient Summerlin community called Trilogy built by Shea Homes. Today we are looking through the Splendor floor plan and going over all those features and that's coming up for you, you next. Hey residents, what's going on today? My name's MJ, I'm a realtor out here in Las Vegas, Nevada working with the Berkshire Hathaway brand. And here on this channel, we tour all around the Las Vegas Valley looking at builder model homes as well as existing inventory to make your next shopping experience for your next home all the more easy. And on today's tour, we're headed back out to Summerlin to the Shea Homes community called Trilogy. We're gonna be looking through the Splendor model today. This particular model is a single story with an optional second story. You could add a third bedroom and a third bathroom as well as a balcony on that second floor if you chose to. On the base floor, it'll feature two bedrooms and two bathrooms as well as that great room style. But without further ado, let's just get out there and get this tour started. Come on. And here we are. We're out here in Summerlin. We're in the Shea community of Trilogy today. This is a 55 plus active community that features a beautiful clubhouse, which we'll go over here in a little while. We'll go over some of the features that are included in there. Trilogy is intended to be a lock and leave style community. So if you like to travel, you are more than welcome to do so and your belongings will be secure as this is a guard gated community. On the screen right now, you're seeing the vitals as well as the floor plan. This particular floor plan is a single story as is. The second story would be meant for storage. However, on this model, they did upgrade with the optional extra bedroom upstairs and the balcony as well. I'll go over all that a little bit later as we come across it. This floor plan itself does feature anywhere from 1,776 square feet all the way up to 2,334 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms. You have an optional second story, which could either be a third bedroom or a uh, loft altogether. And either one you choose will also have a balcony that upgrade would be an additional $60,000. This particular model is part of the Lux collection as you see there. There are three collections in this community. There is the Lux, the Modern, and the Resort. And there is a total of 13 different floor plans here. In terms of the elevations, you have an option of three different elevations with a variety of colors. They are pretty much all the same, so I did not display those on the screen as they are very close to what you saw on the front here. And as far as the starting price for this model, it does start at 482.990. Let's go ahead and head right on inside. Welcome inside the Splendor, guys. This has a beautiful open floor plan concept, which faces from the kitchen to the dining room to the living room. Continuing with the features out front, you will get a eight foot thermature painted front door, as well as pavers in the driveway, the entryway, the front walkway, and the rear patio. Depending on the floor plan, you might get some tile on the particular patio that you have. However, that's only in the modern collection. You also get fire protection throughout this home, as well as a tankless water heater in the garage. There are LED lights all through the house with the exception of fluorescent in the garage and the laundry area. All right, moving on with the tour. Right under the stairs here, you have a wonderful storage area for some extra stuff. If you decide to have that third bedroom upstairs, you will not have that extra storage up there. I love the floating shelf that they have there below the TV. The great room is 14 foot 11 by 15 foot 10. Moving into the dining room, it is 11 foot 11 by 18 foot 0. And then the kitchen is 13 foot 5 by 20 foot 4. Coming to the left of the kitchen here, there's the half bathroom. You actually have a few options down this hallway. They have it built out as the standard floor plan with the laundry room to the left here and then the bedroom straight ahead. There's a pool bathroom with that bedroom. Therefore, it is its own suite. The sink is included. You'll have a gas dryer hookup and that's for your entry to the garages as well. I might recommend grabbing some uppers in terms of the options in the laundry room. I love how they decorated this bedroom out here. This bedroom is 20 foot 11 by 10 foot 2. If you opted to have a uh, small office in, in lieu of the powder room, 
this would decrease the size of this room by two inches, so it's not too big of a deal. However, you would have a really nice walk-in closet added. Love the tile that they put in the shower. Makes it a nice offset, gives it a good texture. All the bathrooms will come with cultured marble countertops, as well as Moa and Undermill sinks. Coming back out into the kitchen now. As far as the appliances, you're going to get a GE stainless steel appliance package, which includes a 30 inch gas cooktop, a 30 inch self cleaning built in oven, a microwave, and a dishwasher with hidden controls. The cabinetry will be white in color with 36 inch uppers and 6 inch bar poles for your convenience when you're opening your cabinetry. You'll have granite countertop, you'll have an option of a couple different colors at the design studio, and you'll have a 6 inch backsplash with that same granite included. They did upgrade, upgrade the backsplash in here. They did opt to install soft clothes on both the drawers and the cabinetry in here. What do you guys think of the light cabinetry versus the dark granite. Do you like that look? It gives it a really hard contrasting look. And lastly, you'll get a single basin stainless steel undermount sink with a single handle mowing faucet. And then this tall cabinetry right here, let me open it real quick, is intended to be your pantry where you store all your food. And just to the left over here is going to be the master suite. The master bedroom is going to be 14 foot zero by 16 foot three. And then the master bathroom will be 12 foot 11 by 12 foot 13. Real nice looking master bedroom here overlooking the front patio over there. You do have a really nice option of connectivity features. Beautiful ceiling, I love how they did that. Uh, you'll have a Wi-Fi router included. You'll have uh, Amazon Echo Show as well as a ring video doorbell, a Wi-Fi thermostat, a Wi-Fi garage door. You'll have a quick set with a smart code entry and Cat6 wiring throughout the entire house. You'll have a whole suite of electronic features through this home to ease your lifestyle. Moving into the master bathroom now, I love how they have the cabinetry separating the two vanities there. You do get a glass shower surround there. I'm sure you have an option for a zero threshold if you chose to. There's the water closet as well as the walk-in closet just to the right there. We have a separate shower tub combo. I love how they have this tiled out. Exclusive with the Lux collection, you do get a drop-in tub as shown right here. You will get uh, Moen single lever faucets as well as culture marble with a uh, rectangle undermount sink. The backsplash will be four inches. And taking a quick over the walk-in closet here, it is six feet by 11 feet, so you have plenty of room for all your clothes. Go ahead and head out to the front part of the house and head on upstairs. Really love the ceiling that they put in here. The video probably doesn't show it too well, but it is a herringbone on the ceiling there. In terms of the flooring, you will get carpet throughout the home with the exception of the wet areas, which is the entry, the kitchen, the master bathroom, the guest bathroom, and the laundry room, where you will get 18 by 18 inch ceramic tiles. There will be three and a quarter inch baseboards throughout the entire home. And depending on the floor plan you get, you will get either nine, 10, or 12 foot flat ceilings. We are upstairs into the second story now. Once again, as the house sits standard, it will come with a attic storage area with an optional loft or an optional bedroom three and a bathroom and a loft. So obviously as this floor plan is, it is the bedroom three with the loft and the extra bathroom upstairs as well as the balcony. In terms of the sizes, the bedroom is 19 foot eight by 13 foot 11. The bathroom is six foot zero by 11 foot eight. Then the balcony is eight foot seven by 17 foot two. And the loft area is six foot eight by 10 foot five. Really pretty bathroom here with that culture marble countertop. Nice seat built into this shower. Love the flooring in the chef in that shower. Definitely looks like you have a good grip on there. There is a small closet up here as well, just to the right when we come out of the bathroom here. It's not real big, so if you do want some extra storage, you might want to consider that. 
if you did opt for the second option and have just a loft upstairs with the balcony the loft itself would be 26 foot 0 by 16 foot 3 that's a very large room and here we are on the balcony I want to go over the HOA real quick there are different HOA amounts for each uh, collection and the reason they do that is because they maintenance the roof and the exterior of the home as well in terms of the Lux collection the HOA is 479 for the community of trilogy and 48 for Summerlin and then that amounts to 527 per month this is a guard gated community the clubhouse has a whole host of features including a pool pickleball court bocce ball court a pool table a barbecue and a common area for events and lastly the the maintenance of the landscaping will be completed for you as well. Well guys, what do you think of the Splendor floor plan? Is it for you? Would you add that second story on there? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you did enjoy today's tour, make sure you like it. It does help out the YouTube algorithm so this video can reach more people like you looking for content like this. If you do enjoy content like this and want to become a resident of this channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single tour when I upload on Fridays. I'd like to personally thank Kelly and Darren, as well as the entire Shea Homes team for having us out, preparing lunch for us, as well as showing us these beautiful models to get these videos prepared just for you. If you're interested in coming along with me on any of these tours, just give me a call, text me, or email me. I'm happy to get out there with you and feature you in my next video. But as always, I appreciate you guys sticking around till the end with me. We'll see you guys in the next tour. Later. Get me out of here. If you do want to continue to see content like this and you want to become a resident of this channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single tour when I upload it. <laughs> tour? Get me out of here.